How long have you been in the UK now? Huh? Nearly five years. And what's your immigration status in the UK? Uh, just still done. I just come to see my babies. Thanks. The man and his wife have three children, two of them born in the UK. But it's news to the team. The couple have not let the Home Office know about their growing family. Don't worry, don't worry. Yeah. Okay. I don't understand why uh, okay. you are come here. We've just come. Uh, part of our, um, our role, immigration, yeah. is to check employees uh, that the right uh, permissions to work have been applied for. Yeah, me. It's me. You're the employer? Yeah. Fantastic. Yeah. Have you got a list of your employees? Yeah, you want the pepper. You want to see the pepper. Absolutely brilliant. As a student, the husband is allowed to work 20 hours a week, but he must be able to prove he's going to college. So you're studying in the UK, yeah? yeah, yeah. Where do you study? And what's the name of the college? I've just been changed because I finished. Well, you must know where you're studying. You must know the name of the college you're studying at. Yeah. And what is it? I think I can't remember the name because it just changed. So where were you studying before? Yeah, it is same college. No, 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 same in London. Yeah, what's the name of that college? Um, the Business College. And what was that address? What road was it on? Oxford. Um, Oxford Road. No, no Oxford Street. Street. Oxford Street. Yeah. And what was the post? In London, what was the postcode? I can't remember the postcode. How long did you study there for? Just one and a half. One and a half years? And what uh, qualifications have you got? None at all? No, no, no. Okay. Just take a seat for us, please. In a passageway next to the kitchen, one of the officers has made an interesting discovery. Showing it, just keep yeah, just walking past, chair in front of what looks like a wall. Move the chair out of the way, give the wall a push, and we've got a hidden bedroom. You see somebody sleeping, well, living in here. Uh, telly, bed, clothing, etc. Quite well hidden. You could quite easily walk past it and not see that there's a room here. At the Ho Fook takeaway in Stoke, the enforcement team are questioning the kitchen worker. If he has a passport. No. Thank you. Chief Immigration Officer Sean Flaherty uses an interpreter on the end of a phone. Hello. Clean the salon. Okay. The man, who says he's an asylum seeker, claims he's just here as a guest of his friends and helping out a little in return. Okay. Yeah, absolutely. He has a letter from the Home Office about his asylum claim, which he keeps in his room. What's that? Secret. The hidden cubby hole next to the kitchen. Narnia. Fantastic, thank you. He claims the letter confirms he has permission to work. Is he, yes. Officer Flaherty spots a second letter the man is less keen to hand over. This one here, yeah, which you've quite rightly said, they will say there's no restrictions on you taking employment back in 1998. But then, back in March 2008, you are not allowed to work. Yeah, no, no, no. Okay, right. I only come here, me only pay for. I accept that you're not getting paid. But in place of getting paid, you're given food and board. So it's work. Still work. Officer Flaherty checks the Home Office records. When was he refused asylum? The worker has never reported since claiming asylum in 1998, and his claim has been refused. He is listed as an absconder and is not allowed to work. OK. OK. Mr Zhou, right. you're under arrest. OK. Yeah. You're a failed asylum seeker, yeah? You have no leave to be in the United Kingdom, OK? So you're now under arrest. Do you understand that? No, I don't. No, OK, I'll break it down nice and simple. You're under arrest. You shouldn't be working, you shouldn't be in the country. You haven't complied with immigration so far. You've rendered yourself in this position at the moment, OK? You're going to come with me, so I'll have a word outside. OK, my colleague's going to search your room. All right? <laughs> OK, come to me. 
is shown a continuing blatant disregard for the immigration laws. Uh, come here seeking our protection and he hasn't done anything to kind of help himself or us. So he's under arrest now. The team know that detaining and removing Chinese illegal immigrants is not straightforward. They will almost certainly have to release this man on bail. The problem we've got is the length of time it takes us to get a travel document for a Chinese person. It can be up to 12 months, so it's almost certain that we're not going to get bed space for him for 12 months. Somehow we have to persuade him that he should report to us and that he can't work during that time. The takeaway owner is legitimately in the UK as a dependent of her husband, the student. But she has been employing an illegal worker and could face a fine of up to £10,000. You have to write to them. OK, let me just explain what's happened. This gentleman here, he's not allowed to work. He does helping me. Helping's working, I'm afraid. He's not allowed to help. He's also helping my children. Is he say working for my He's not allowed to work in the UK. So where have he gone? He's going to be detained now. We're taking him to a police station um, where we'll interview him further. OK, man, your head. Go to the front. Take all your seats. The team regularly find illegal immigrants who attempt to prolong their stay in the country by putting in baseless asylum claims. In 2008, the UK border agency sent 13,000 failed asylum seekers back home. Asylum's there for a reason. Asylum's there to offer protection to people who genuinely need it. People claim asylum and then don't cooperate with us and it makes a mockery of the asylum system. And it's, uh, frankly, it's an insult to the people who actually are genuinely seeking asylum. He hasn't played by the rules and uh, I think he should be detained long term. I'll get a passport from him, that's my opinion. Right. There is not enough room to detain all illegal immigrants picked up in enforcement raids, especially when it can take a year to get hold of their travel documents. After being interviewed, the man is released on bail. The owner of the takeaway will be fined up to £10,000 for employing an illegal worker.